Hi, I'm Maggie from maggiescrochet.com and this pillow video is sponsored by Premier Yarns. This pillow is surprisingly very easy to make and I'm using Starbella yarn which is typically used for ruffled scarves. And there is a ruffled scarf type edging on this and this color here is um, Purple Rain and then the colors in the video that I use are happy pinks on one side and then I decided to switch it up and use birthday cake on the other side. So all of the Starbella yarns will work for this. You can use the um, Starbella stripes, you can use a solid color, you could use the multicolors like you see here. You could even use neon colors or you could use the um, st any Starbella yarn which is the Flash or any of the other yarns. Um, it's all interchangeable because it's all a, a super bulky number six yarn. And the finished measurements for this is 16 inches, but in the video I'm going to show you how to make a 14 inch pillow out of the same pattern. And the hook size that's recommended is an S, and um, I used a Q in my um, video, and I think it works out just as well, and it's a little bit tighter on the stitches. Um, the finished measurement for this is 16 inches and this calls for four balls of um, the Starbella yarn and uh, the S crochet hook and then you need to switch to a smaller hook on the outside which is a G and the gauge isn't super important on this except for the sizing of your pillow and I'll show you how to size this according to what pillow form you have. You could actually make it bigger than um, this pillow. But on the outside you have to switch to a smaller hook like a G or an H or whatever you have around that size would work. And um, you'll also need a yarn needle and of course the pillow form and something to mark the uh, beginning and ends of your rounds. And um, for that I use a contrasting piece of yarn or you could use a stitch marker would work just as good. And um, this yarn is a is a netting yarn and it can be used as a uh, for ruffled scarfs like I said or in this design it's used as the whole strand like this as if it were just a, a super bulky yarn and then when you do the ruffle you switch back and use it as a netting yarn which makes it a very interesting project to do. So um, this is a um, this is great for uh, making scarves and you only need one skein. So um, the links to everything are listed below and I want to thank you very much for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and now I'll go to a close up and show you how to make this pillow. Here's a close up of the back that I made in happy pinks and I thought it'd be fun to change colors for the front side. So I'll be showing you how to make the, the pillow with uh, the birthday cake yarn. So I leave like a 5 inch end on my starting chain and instead of a um, S hook I'm going to use a Q hook which is a little bit smaller but I like the way it makes it a little bit tighter like this and this will stretch and it will fit over a um, at least a 14 inch pillow and then you'll see as we go along that it's really easy to add more rounds because it increases very um, symmetrically. So to get started we start with a slip knot on our hook and you chain two and then you work eight single crochets in the second chain from hook. If the um, hole spreads out too much, you just pull this, um, pull this back in, and it'll bring it. Um, it'll close it up. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. One. 
I'm just starting a new skein, so it doesn't want to come out really easy. Okay, now instead of um, joining here, I'm just going to mark the end of the round. And to do that, you take a contrasting color of yarn like this, and you just lay it on this side of the last stitch you worked of this round and you just lay it in there and just leave it there. You can also use a stitch marker but I find it easier to just use the yarn like this. So now you work your first stitch of your next round with the marker in between. So now you're going to work two single crochets in the first stitch and in each stitch around. So now you're going to be doubling. Now it's going to double the amount of single crochet, so you're going to have 16 at the end. Oh, this yarn. Okay. So there's two in there. So you just work two singles in each one. Keeps wanting to catch the netting part of the yarn. Okay, so when you get around to the end, um, you'll notice the stitch marker is right here, and you want to count your stitches and make sure that you have 16 going around. So it go, I count the little ovals up here. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So that's the end of round two. So now I just take the marker. I can either take the strand from the back and move it forward or the front and move it back like that. Just as long as it's laying on this side of your last stitch of that round. So now I'm ready for the next one. So I don't have to join. I won't have the little uh, mark where I join. So now you work two singles in the next stitch right here and one single in the next and then two so you're increasing every other one and then one and then two one two One, two, I do this in my head all the time and I count a lot of things other than crochet stitches too. <laughs> okay. So I'm doing two and then one, two and one, two and one. So every round is increasing by eight. So now instead of 16, I should have 24 when I get done with this round. So now you see the stitch markers right here. So I want to find one of the strands and I'm going to take it from the back and move it to the front like that. And then the next round is a two in one space for an increase and then a single and a single. So now the whole round is the same thing. It's two for an increase and then a single and a single. 
So what's happening here is that there's one more single between the increase stitch than the on each round. So this one has two, the next one I'll have three in between, the next one four, and it goes up to five in between the increases. I'm pretty sure that's the way this one went. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yes. So you keep going in this pattern and like it's going to be increase, single, single, increase, single, single. And on the next one, it's going to be increase, single, single, single. You're going to have three singles in between your increase. So keep going until you complete um, round, I think it's round five, until you have um, five. Um, single crochet stitches between your increase stitches and then I, I'll, um, come, I'll come back on camera with my two pieces and then I'll put them together in a pillow for a pillow and then show you how to do the ruffled edge. I finished the two sides of my pillow and the one side I did in the back loop in happy pinks color and then this um, side I did in both loops so, just so that you could see the difference and this one was done in birthday cake and I'm going to use these on a 14 inch pillow instead of a 16 inch pillow and if you um, put your piece up to your pillow it should um, just be about this size because you want it to stretch a little bit and if you want your pillow to be bigger, like uh, if you wanted to use the Q hook instead of the S hook, all you need to do is keep doing the increase round and having one more be in between um, the increases, the um, two single crochet increases. So you would have instead of five single crochets in between your increases, you would go to six and seven, however big you wanted to make this. So anyway, right now, I'm going to show you how to finish off the one side. So I'm going to finish off this one and to finish off all I do is slip stitch in the next stitch like this and then make a chain like this and then pull on the back side of the chain and then just cut about six inches out like that and then take the that loop and just pull it all the way out and that locks that. So I'm not going to worry about the ends on this because I'm going to make sure that they're crocheted on into the inside of this pillow. So now on the other piece I'm not going to disconnect my yarn and I am going to this is the right side of the pillow and then this I want to take the wrong side of the other pillow like this and match it up to the wrong side of this piece. So I have both of my pieces with wrong sides facing and then I need to join these two pieces together. So I'm going to be crocheting through both sides and I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to go underneath the two loops and then I'm going to grab the two loops from the stitch on the other side. So I'm just going to work a single crochet all the way around. Let's just go through some of the strands. So you work through both the front and the back loops. So I'm going to keep going around like this and then I'll come back on camera and get my scissors out of the way. So you just keep crocheting around like this through both sides, through both thicknesses. And that's how you join your pillow together. And just before it gets too small, as I'm going around too, I'm going to stick any um, cut ends or anything just to the inside, any of these strands because I won't have to worry about sewing them together. So before it gets too, um, before you go too far, you want to slide your pillow in and then finish the single crochet round. 
So I'm going to finish mine and you finish yours and then I'll come back on camera. So I've worked single crochet stitches all the way around um, through both sides and I did, I left this much of an opening, I put my pillow in and then I realized that if I tried to do this with the pillow in on camera it would be way too big. So, um, but this is a size opening that you want to leave and um, you would put your pillow in at this point and then crochet these sides together but I just went ahead and single crocheted over to here and then I'm going to show you what to do after you get to this point. So now this is very interesting. I've never actually done this before but um, you want to switch to a small G hook and you're going to start using the netting yarn as a netting yarn for the ruffle. So I have a slip stitch right here that you can see and I have a G hook now, which is very interesting. So now you want to open this up like this. Okay, so you see there's a solid band there and then there's a netting side. You're going to be working in the netting side. Okay, so you're going to act like these loops are just yarn overs of yarn. So to do that you're going to work two single crochets in each single crochet around here and you can just work in the back loop. So it would be like this and you're going to yarn over with a loop like this and pull that loop up and then you yarn over again with the next loop like this and then you pull through the two loops that are on your hook like that. And you work two of those in the same stitch. So now you're going to insert your hook. You're going to yarn over with a loop and bring that loop up and then yarn over with the next loop like that and then you complete your single crochet with that loop. So now you do that with each one. You do two single crochets in each one around. So this one, you insert your hook, you draw up a loop which is one of the little boxes there, like that. You yarn over with the next little box and you draw through two to complete a single crochet. Then you're going to do another single crochet. I'm lining up my boxes. So you insert your hook in there. You draw up a loop and it's a loop of the netting yarn. You pull that up then you yarn over with the next loop and you draw through two. It's really really easy. Okay, now again, you're going to, I've got two in there, so I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to draw up a loop which is one of the strands like that and then I'm going to yarn over with the next one and pull that through the two. That's a single. And then if your yarn starts twirling. You just figure out which way you need to roll it. You just roll it. toward. This one's towards me and it makes it straighten out. Some people say it doesn't roll as much when you use the outside so maybe that would work. So I've only got one single crochet there so I need another one. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to pick up the next loop, draw that up and drop the next loop and draw through two like this. So that's, I'm done with that one. So now the next one, I'll do one more. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to yarn over with one of the strands then I'm going to yarn over with the next strand and draw through two. So there's one there. So the next one I'm going to insert in there I'm going to yarn over with the next box like that, yarn over with the next box and then draw through two. So you see a little ruffle starting to form here. 
So go ahead and go all the way around and when you come back to here I'll come back on camera and I'll show you the next step. Here's a close-up of the finished pillow and if you turn it on this side you'll notice the border rounds to make the ruffle are the two single crochets in the first round that I just showed you and then after that you'll need to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then you'll do three rounds of single crochet even and that's what creates this really cool ruffle here. So I really like this. So this is the uh, finished 16 inch pillow. Let me get that off camera here. And this is what mine looks like. It's so cute. I love it. I've never done this before and I just love this. So I'm going to try to think of a way to make this into a ruffled skirt. This type of pattern. Okay, so I landed up right here. And I was doing the two single crochets in each one around. And now, when I come around here, this is my first single crochet that I did right here. So when I come around, this is my last single crochet of round one. And I need to take a contrasting yarn, and I've got a piece of yarn here, and just lay it on the side of my last stitch. And then it'll be lay between my last stitch and the first stitch of my next round, which is round two. So now, I'm going to go ahead and pretend that that's not even there. And then I'm going to be working now into these single crochet stitches from round one. And I'm going to insert my hook under both strands like that. Then I'm going to draw up a loop from the netting yarn and pull that up. And then yarn over with the next loop from the netting yarn, from the working yarn, and draw that through the two loops on my hook. And that stitch marker just stays right there. And then when I come back around, I just move it again just like I placed it there. I'll just move it back this way when I come around with my last single crochet. Then I'll move this before I start the first single crochet of round three. So you just keep going around like this three rounds. Let me do a couple for you. Okay, so I'm going to go into the next two um, single crochet under the two loops. I'm going to yarn over with the netting yarn. I'm going to draw that loop up like that. I'm going to yarn over with the next loop on the netting yarn and draw that through the two loops on the hook to make a single crochet. Again, I go ahead and I line up two loops and I'm going to go in the next single crochet from front to back. I'm going to yarn over with the next loop of netting yarn. I'm going to draw that up and then yarn over with the next loop and draw that through the two loops on my hook just like that. And then I'll just keep going around for three rounds. Okay, so I just did this one, so now I go in this one and I'm going to yarn over with the next loop from the netting yarn, bring that up and yarn over with the next loop and draw that through the two loops on the hook. Okay, come here. Okay. So go into the next single crochet, yarn over with the first loop that you have there, yarn over with the next loop, bring that through the two loops on your hook. Like that. So now that's going to create the second round of ruffles and then when you're done you're going to have four rounds of ruffles. So just keep going all the way around and then at the end you're going to want to, when you're done, you're going to want to go in like this and pull up the whole wide like this and then go pull that through and pull that through the last loop on your hook like this and then you will cut this whole strand like this 
and then you will yarn over with the whole strand and bring that through that and then pull that tight like that and then just go back to your big hook and bring that through the inside of the pillow to the outside right near that that yarn and just pull it to the inside of the pillow and then you don't have to sew it in that's exciting I have to sew in so that's how you make the uh, ruffled pillow and I want to thank you for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and enjoy your crochet.